My worst nightmare has come true. I'm losing my teeth. Okay. First of all, I've got a really bad cold. Um, so, if you're wondering why I'm croaking a bit like a frog and why I'm looking like I've sort of pulled my uh, jumper up over my nose, it's because I'm bone cold and I'm feeling really rotten. But we need to talk about something that uh, I know many people have nightmares about. Bad nightmares. I know I've had them since since I was about 10 or 12 years old. And it's about losing your teeth. When uh, I began losing my teeth a couple of years ago, I was really scared at first. Um, because it's been such a stigma in my life that you know, if you don't have your teeth, there is something wrong, and um, it's kind of embarrassing not to have teeth in your mouth. Um, I don't know why. Um, well, maybe I do, but I, I've never actually thought about why I held on to those beliefs or even where I got them from, but I did have them deeply rooted in me. So when uh, I lost my first tooth uh, a few years ago uh, and cracked my jawbone in the process. Uh, I was really unhappy about it. I was concerned that it would be visible. However, it was at the very back of this jaw and everybody I asked said that there was just no way they could tell that this tooth was missing. But my problem was that I knew that it was just the first and that more would follow. But a few years later when I had to have this one here extracted um, I was more concerned about it. Uh, I really like to sing, I do like to talk a lot and I do feel that when I do either it is possible to see that this tooth is missing and it annoys me and um, it also causes me trouble when I eat because certain things are very hard to eat because they get stuck uh, in between those teeth and uh, I don't like it. So it is something that you get very conscious about. Plus, for some reason, it's, it's like the tongue knows that there's something wrong there and if it knows that something is wrong, it keeps going back there. So I can feel myself using my tongue to poke into these gaps where there should have been teeth and then when I dropped when I lost this one that was really upsetting to me because it is highly visible that it is missing and um, what upset me so much about it was also that at the time I was really really poorly and I just could not get out of bed um, I was too poorly to go and see a dentist, so I just had to get on with the fact that there was no teeth in my mouth. Because I don't want this to be the longest video in the world. I, I literally just wanted to tell you about I am losing my teeth and it's like my worst nightmare is coming true. And even saying that sounds stupid now because obviously um, so many things have happened in my life that losing a tooth is no longer my worst night nightmare. It was. Uh, it really was. But it isn't anymore. Because I know, <laughs> I do know, by bitter experience, uh, my own and my close friends, uh, that things could be so much worse than a missing tooth. But, having said that, uh, I've been browsing YouTube quite a lot, looking through videos about people losing their teeth. I've been looking at people sort of um, vlogging about getting dentures. I've been watching people vlogging about losing their teeth, etc. And what I found was that 
pretty much all of them had one thing in common and that was that they were either born with some kind of condition which made their teeth bad, so to speak, or they had bad teeth because they had never learned or never realized that you actually have to brush them. And um, that is sad and a huge problem and I think it's really strong of them to make videos about it because maybe they can help someone else. But what I haven't found is um, a video that relates to someone in my position or maybe in your position which is someone with an autoimmune disease or um, some kind of arthritis uh, but especially autoimmune people uh, need to be very concerned about this and I would assume that it would also include people with ME and uh, fibromyalgia I should also really pay attention to this and some other diseases. I'm, I'm going to come back to that because I've, I've been reading a lot now and I, I do know that there are other conditions as well so there will be a follow-up video talking about why uh, my teeth are, are, are going bad and in that video I will try to mention other people who also need to pay attention to this but um, just to be aware that for some people with certain health conditions it is really important to do what you can to look after your teeth um, and I'm not just talking about brushing them because I think we well obviously we don't all do it but most of us do look after our teeth and we do the flossing and we do the mouthwash and we do the the brushing etc but we may not use the best possible products and we may not do it in the best possible way and if we don't know about what is the best possible way, if we don't know about what are the best possible products, then there's very little we can do to help our poor teeth to stay with us for as long as possible. And here is the hint, right? I know some people would say, well, what's the big problem? You can get dentures. And, and, and the, big, the big one for me is that uh, my dentist... Um, he told me this many years ago and he told me again last week that most likely I will not be able to get dentures and most likely I will not be able to get implants and that means that there is a huge risk that I will end up losing my teeth and there will be nothing I can do about it. <laughs> see here I am coughing and puffing and sneezing and coughing and whatever and my best friend is just huffing and puffing a little bit about uh, the disturbance <laughs> right now I've forgotten where I was so I'm gonna have to uh, take a quick break to see where I was and uh, I'll be back no, I remember I was going to say this. Uh, the thought that I might be losing tooth after tooth after tooth and there will be nothing we can do to replace them. There will be no options to replace them. That actually makes me really sad. In, um, in a couple of days I'm gonna release a follow-up video to this one and in that video I will be talking about why my teeth are falling apart and why I may not have any options to replace them and in that video I'm also going to show you what my teeth look like today and what they looked like I think it's five years ago I have a picture of what they looked like then. So look out for that if this is an, a topic that interests you and um, I'll see you then. But for now, thank you very much for popping in to see me 
Uh, I hope you have a lovely day wherever you are. And don't forget, I love you.